How big were the 2000 for tsunami waves? When we think about the 2000 for Indian Ocean tsunami, one of the first questions that comes to mind is, just how big were those waves? This catastrophic event was triggered by a massive earthquake off the coast of Sumatra, Indonesia. The sheer power of this earthquake set off a series of waves that would change lives forever. To understand the size of the tsunami waves, we first need to know how tsunamis form. A tsunami occurs when a large volume of water is displaced, often due to an earthquake or volcanic eruption. These waves can travel at speeds of up to 500 miles per hour in open water. As they approach the shore, they can grow to astonishing heights. In the case of the 2000 for tsunami, the size of the waves varied significantly based on where they hit. On the west coast of Aceh, Sumatra, the waves reached heights between 15 and 30 meters. In Banda Aceh, the waves were recorded at heights of 6 to 12 meters. The most extreme wave was observed at Lampuk Beach, Loch Na, where it reached an incredible height of approximately 48.86 meters. The impact of the tsunami was not uniform across the Indian Ocean. Areas farther from the epicenter, like Sri Lanka and Thailand, experienced waves that were generally over for meters high. On the opposite side of the Indian Ocean, countries such as Somalia and the Seychelles faced waves that approached for meters as well. Understanding the size and behavior of tsunami waves is essential for predicting future events. This knowledge plays a key role in developing early warning systems and evacuation plans, which are vital for saving lives and minimizing damage in coastal communities. The 2000 for Indian Ocean Tsunami serves as a powerful example of the destructive potential of natural disasters. It highlights the importance of understanding geological processes, such as earthquakes and tsunamis, to better prepare for and respond to such events. This understanding is essential for creating strategies for disaster prevention and mitigation in regions prone to these types of natural disasters. So, the next time you think about the 2000 for tsunami, remember the staggering heights of those waves and the lessons we can learn from such a significant event in our natural history.